Welcome back to day five of the 45th Trofeo Princesa Sofia Olympic Classes Regatta in Parma, Spain. Today would be the last for many of the athletes here, but not for those making the top 10 cut for the medal racing tomorrow. It was a stormy start to the day with rain and dark clouds, but preparation started early on Arenal Beach. Of all the top sailors from around the world, those in the medal race cut danger zone were probably thinking most about their strategies. Yeah, we're not really sure what the weather's gonna gonna bring today. There's a lot of lot of clouds going through and a lot of rain rain squalls and things like that. So yeah, we'll just keep keep just sailing with what we've got out there and, and enjoying ourselves and hopefully knock off a few more good scores. The Alpha course was closest to shore, where the 49er Gold Fleet kicked off with three difficult races. The weather was puffy and shifty, making tactical decisions crucial. Places changed all the time. Kiwis Peter Burling and Blair Tuke, reigning world champions and Olympic silver medalists, extended their overall lead with a ninth and two bullets, which makes six bullets in total at this event. They're now 21 points or race places clear of Danish gold and bronze Olympic medalists, Jonas Wara and Peter Lang, who had a steady day. Brits Dylan Fletcher and Alan Sine, who came second in the 2013 Europeans, also put in steady results to take third overall. While Austrians Nico Del Carth and Nikolaus Resch dropped to fourth on the leaderboard, some 53 points behind the Kiwis at the top. As the top men in the 49ers were creating substantial points differences, it was quite the opposite in the men's and women's 470 fleets. Overall positions here changed from race to race. In the women's fleet, Kiwi Olympic gold medalists Joe Allais and Polly Powery stopped the bullet strike of British Olympic silver medalists Hannah Mills and Saskia Clark. Allais and Powery had a third and a first and a sixth which hauled them closer to French leaders Camille Lecointre and Hélène de France, who are now just seven points clear at the top of the leaderboard. The 19th place in race nine, the last of the day, was a disappointment for the Brits though, because they go into tomorrow's three medal races some 26 points behind the Kiwis. Their podium position is open to attack from behind. In the men's 470 fleet, a good day turned into a nightmare for the Australian gold Olympic medalist Matt Belcher and his crew Will Ryan, as they also scored a poor result in the last race of the day. Earlier on in the regatta, the Australians were black flagged in race three, which has made their championship even tougher than normal. But they finished the day in third overall, just six points behind Argentinians Lucas Calabresi and Juan de la Fuente, the recent Olympic bronze medalists who scored all top 10 places today. World champions Fantella and Igor Marenic from Croatia sailed more conservatively, finishing in pole position clear of the Argentinians. The points are tight here, so there should be some good medal racing tomorrow. Storms, big waves, epic boat speeds, and complete calm. What a strange and dramatic regatta this has been. But it looks like the best drama is in store for the grand finale. So do rejoin us for our medal race roundup tomorrow. <laughs>